Some companies forecast sales, some supply chain forecast demand. I actually think that you should never forecast sales, you should only forecast demand. So let's take the example where you would forecast sales instead of demand. In my example, let's imagine for some reason your supplier is late and you face a shortage. So you had a shortage for a few weeks and honestly your supplier is late so you're going to still have a shortage for the next following week. So if you look at your sales, that's basically going to be zero. And if you want to be accurate at forecasting sales, you're just going to forecast zero sales and you're going to achieve an accurate of 100%. Now let's imagine we use this sales forecast to drive your supply plan. Okay, so you give this sales forecast of zero to your supply planning team, your purchasing team, and they decide to buy this from your supplier. So they basically decide to buy zero. Now due to that, you're going to basically get stuck into a shortage in a vicious circle where you have a shortage, your supply is late, you have zero sales, you forecast zero, you make an order of zero, and you're basically stuck into this circle. That's why you need to forecast unconstrained demand from your client. Even if you have a shortage, when you forecast demand, you really want to forecast how much your client would buy if you had unlimited supply.